While there wasn't a lot of fanfare, so you possibly do not yet know the news, but within the past year, Lima's Salvation Army welcomed a new couple to serve in the roles of Major. Dancy Moeller introduces us to Major Jeffrey Stacy. Well, thank you so much. Well, Major Jeff Stacy joins me now with the Salvation Army here in Lima. We want to welcome you to the show. This is the first time that we've gotten to meet and welcome. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So this has been quite a winter, I'm sure, for the Salvation Army in a number of ways. You know, the weather has um, been quite a nightmare. And with many of the services you provide, I'm sure you've been on call um, around the clock. So let's talk, if you would, about the Salvation Army and how you provide assistance, um, especially this winter, what you've been doing. I know one, one of our helping things that we do is through our social services to provide people with help with their utilities, um, to help get them into a shelter if possible, mm -hmm. and you know, to help with the basic things that people need throughout the winter. Absolutely. Now, I want to welcome you to Lima, as I said, because you have, um, you're relatively new to the job. Um, you've been here about a year, you said? Yeah, we've been in, in this area for since September. Okay. Since yeah. September, so not quite a year then, right? No, we, we came in and right into the Christmas yeah. <laughs> um, kettle fundraising season and yes, yes. Hit, the, hit the road running pretty Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Well, you know, I guess that's probably where we um, know the Salvation Army um, most is the kettle drives. Um, we see that at, at Christmas time and it's kind of like, you know, that's the, that's the sign that ushers in the season for many of us. Yeah. Um, but you do so much more. You just touched on some of the uh, services you provide for people who need it right now in these winter months, but your services go year round. And um, what I like most about you is that you're focused on Christian principles. You are based on, um, you know, Christian beliefs, aren't you? Yes, um, one of the things our, the founder, William Booth, when he found the Salvation Army, he had a saying, it was soup, soap, and salvation. You know, it's like feed them, clean them up, and you know, let them know about Jesus. Yes. And, you know, that to me it fit right in with me when I when I first came involved with the Salvation Army. So how did you become involved? Um, I was going to college and I met my wonderful wife because she came for a weekend thing at the college and I met her there and she was heavily involved in the Salvation Army and through her I got introduced to the Army. So. And it's not necessarily the Army as in military, correct? No, that's, that's one of the unique things people say, well how do you come up with your rankings and stuff? And it's kind of that military style, you know, mentality because we are a Salvation Army. You know, we're here to fight for people's souls and, you know, to bring them to Jesus. So. Very good. So how do you do that? How do you present um, the word when you have people enter your doors? Is it immediate or is it, you know, by your acts that, that you lead them to Jesus? Well, I think the way you act, the way you carry yourself and the way you show yourself to people is very important. Um, one of the things we try to do, you know, through the Salvation Army is to build relationships. I think it's very important that, you know, people get to know who you are and then they, through that, you can bring the word to them. Because, you know, sometimes people kind of turned off when you first see them for the That's first right. time. That's they say, you need Jesus. It's That's like, right. No, they need to know that they're loved. So. Very good. Do you have a lot of people that come back on a regular basis, and, and do you offer worship services, per se? Yes, we have church every Sunday. Um, we have, and hopefully in the fall, we're going to start some of our character-building programs with the Christian principle um, to get that on the way for youth and stuff. Because we, one thing that's big in our hearts, me and my wife, is the youth, you know, because they are our future. You know. And where you're located, that's especially important because um, you are on Market Street and then you also are right across the street from um, Lima Senior High School. Yes, yes. And, you know, we've talked and, and heard about efforts um, on behalf of many of our teenagers to lead them out of temptation mm -hmm. and show them that there is a better way. And that's, that's the one of the neat things, like you said, you know, we, we love the youth, we love working with the youth, and we have an after-school program. Oh, good. Um, where the kids can come in, and it's so neat to have all the kids come in there, and you get to feel like a kid and get to be, spend time with them. And that's right, so. very good. Well, we're running out of time. If there is anyone interested in what you do, if, they, if maybe they're interested in helping out or they know someone who could be served by you, what do they do? 
Um, they can come down to Salvation Army. We're at 614 East Market Street, right across from the high school. Mm -hmm. Or they can call our number at 419-224-9055, and we'll get them whatever they need and do what we can for them. Wonderful. So. Well, Major Jeff Stacy, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. All right. Back to you.